everybody welcome to abadi ko tiktok this i'm not sure in the previous video we saw about the financial module like how to run the financial reports like trial balance balance sheet and profit and loss and today we will see about the adding journal entries to the journal vouchers also we can consider this process of adding the journal entries to the journal vouchers as a draft document for the journal entry. let's get into the video so i have taken the test database called oez computers so the first topic we are going to see under the journal entries are how to create a manual journal entry so for that you can use the main menu financials and then journal entry so this is how the journal entry screen will look like so in the heading part you will have all the numbers posting dates due dates and talk dates by default all these dates will be the current date and then if there is any remarks it can be entered here and now coming back to the line level data you can choose the general ledger account here so say for example, I'm just choosing an account called uh, Patents and Royalties. I'm giving a debit of 10,000 rupees. And then here I'm just selecting a cash account with a credit of 10,000. So this is one way of adding it. So the second part is not only the general ledger, but also you can uh, add the business partner codes here like customers and vendor. For that purpose, you have to do, give control tab. So the moment you give control tab, all the business partners code, both the customers and vendors will display here. So this is also a method where you can give uh, enter in the journal entry. And uh, in the manual journal entry, you can give the location, you can give if it is the project codes and everything. And also if you have given the distribution rules and uh, stuff, you can give it here. Line of business and department distribution rules it can be given here. So the option you see here called reverse. So when you give reverse, it means that you can reverse the journal entry. You can cancel the journal entry. So the moment you give reverse, a date will appear here. So this is a date that belongs uh, to the cancellation of the particular journal entry. So you can enter the date here. You can change the date uh, as per the company's requirement. You can give add. So this is one method of adding the journal entry. The other method is you can bulk copy it from Excel sheet and then paste it in the GL account code column, debit and credit column. Also, there's an option called import from Excel, where if you give import from Excel option, you can just type in the, in the first column of the Excel sheet is going to have this one, whether it belongs to the HREL, header or line level. This is the second column, third column. Based on these data, you'll be able to import the data from the Excel. So this is how we'll add a manual journal entry. So the second topic in the journal entries is adding the journal entries to the journal vouchers. So you all know the club, the collection of journal entries is actually a voucher. But SAP allows you to save the journal entries in draft document here and then you can add the uh, entry to the voucher whenever required. That option is also possible in SAP Business One. So just maximizing the journal vouchers. So you can, you can see the journal voucher under the financials tab. So here I'm just adding a new entry to the voucher. So this is the first option that you're supposed to give. So the moment you click that option, you can see a journal voucher entry screen. So similarly, you can add the vouchers here. So I'm just debiting the license account and then crediting my cash account. So this is one journal entry. So I'm adding it to the voucher. So the moment I add here, you can see that the data of 20,000 is being added. Now what I can do is either someone can see it and then post the voucher, which means like, you know, making the voucher to the live. Till this stage, this st the journal entry is still in the draft mode. If you want to add existing entry to the, uh, if you want to add the voucher, if you want to add entries to the existing voucher, you can give this option. And uh, you can give some other accounts here. Say, for example, I'm just build, uh, giving patents and royalties. I'm giving a debit of 30,000. And then I'm selecting the cash account here. And then crediting it with the same 30,000. So the moment I add here, you can see that for the journal voucher number three, there are two transactions. One is for 20,000, another one is for 30,000. So now what I can do is, when anytime I want to, see the journal voucher, I can just open it. I can just select this. It is still in the status, open status. I can check whether they are right by just selecting this in the line level data. So I'm I'm finding that it is right. If you, I want to add some other entries to the existing voucher, I can do it. Else I can post the voucher. So the moment I post the voucher, only then these data will get hit in those accounts. 
yes so i'm going to save it as a permanent file so this is how we will add the journal entries to the voucher thank you